ready to create? For today's art lesson, we're going to look at one point perspective landscape. And all you need is a paper and a ruler and a pencil and something to color in. Now, uh, to start, what you need to do is draw a horizon line with a ruler. That's a line that shows uh, where the earth meets the sky. And then choose where you're going to have your vanishing point. This is really important. It's where all the lines converge to go to. So it could be any, anywhere on the horizon. You need to do the vanishing point. And then you're going to draw a sort of large triangle that meets at the vanishing point and that's going to be your road or your path. It's up to you how wide it is uh, but what you should all have is a triangle in the middle of your page like this going to the vanishing point and what a one point perspective uh, helps you do is uh, create objects that get smaller and smaller as they go further away from you to create um, some space. So I'm going to draw some trees there. If you want you can draw a house, you can draw uh, anything you want. And I'm just going to do a tree in the foreground, that's what's next to me. But because it's next to me it's going to be really big. I'm going to do one on the other side. Then with your ruler you need to do another line from the vanishing point all the way to your first tree. Again, on the other side from the vanishing point to the top of your tree like this and basically all your trees or anything you draw needs to be within those two lines in that triangle and it needs to get smaller as it goes further away from you. that's what's going to create the perspective or the illusion of space just drawing some trees along the path, just getting smaller and smaller. So as they go further away from you, you don't need to draw that much detail because when things are far away, you tend not to see them as well. What I do anyway. Just do the other side as well. And here we have our landscape. So I'm just going to color it in. You can use color pencils, felt tips, or paint. It's up to you. I'm going to show you with colour pencils and paint as well. And when you colour in your trees, it's really nice if you use different shades, so dark and light greens, so that you get some uh, nice shades. And also I'm adding some shadows, some grass. There we have it. I'm going to show you as well. I've uh, painted it, the same drawing, but painted and so you can see how it looks. So there we have it, one point perspective drawing. Bye!